on, on the Tesla, in the audio system, you can choose FM radio, AM radio, XM radio, if you have the premium audio uh, package, the premium sound package. Internet radio, you can search for different artists or, or particular tracks. You can go to recently searched and see different stations that are available on the internet, ABC News, and so on. Uh, you can go to My Music, and also all of these you can favorite, and it'll show you recently played. And if you go to My Music, you'll see my Bluetooth device right now, my phone. And of course, you can also plug the phone in through USB. Uh, and you can plug a lot of other things in through USB. There's actually two USB ports down here in the center console between the two front seats. And, uh, and there's also a 12-volt you know, cigarette lighter, of course. You can use these for charging, but you can also use them to connect into the audio system. Uh, so the computer runs, the, the computer in the Tesla is a Linux-based computer. So you can, I was wondering what other USB devices you can plug in here. Of course, you can plug a phone in there. Of course, most people plug in a USB flash drive uh, in there. You know, most people know what that is, a you know, little USB flash drive. So you can copy you know, thousands of different songs or uh, artists onto one of these flash drives, plug it in there, and it'll let you play it through there. The Tesla doesn't have a CD player. That's not an option for it. I joke that it also doesn't have an option for an 8-track player. Uh, if you really wanted a CD player, I was wondering if you could get a USB CD player uh, you know, for a laptop and plug it in. I tried that. That doesn't work. Other people reported the same thing. USB uh, CD drive doesn't work. Doesn't make a big difference to me, but I was just curious. Some other things we also tried for fun is a USB mouse. And as it turns out, USB mouse does work. So if I plug this in down here, oops, my USB mouse will light up. And on the screen, if I move my mouse around here, you can actually see there's a little blue pointer that shows up for my mouse. And I can actually move around and operate this screen using the mouse rather than using the touch screen. Why in the world you'd want to do this, I have no idea. Maybe if the touchscreen stops working for some reason, but it's just the touchscreen and not the computer, maybe this would come in handy to be able to operate some things. I don't know. I don't know why this is useful, but it's interesting that they allowed that to happen. Uh, USB keyboards do not work. There are fields where you can type. You know, for example, if you wanted to search for a particular song or for a destination, there's a search screen that comes up with a touch keyboard. USB keyboards do not work. Uh, and that's probably a security thing since it's a Linux computer. They've probably disabled USB keyboards so you can't really get in there and start hacking around with it too much. So the last thing I tried, which was kind of fun, is I thought, all right, well, the CD drive doesn't work, but what about a floppy drive? So I searched around a little bit. I found a floppy disk, <laughs> and I have my USB floppy drive, and I wanted to copy a song on here to see if the media player would read the floppy disk and read the song off of it. The problem is floppy disks, for those who remember, only hold 1.44 megabytes. And as it turns out, most MP3 songs are bigger than that. So I had to cut it down. So this US, I mean, this uh, floppy disk holds about a third of one song at the moment. So I cut it down and put it on there just to try it out. And lo and behold, it actually does work. So if I plug in my USB here, and you can actually see the light come on on my uh, floppy drive, and if I go to my music, you'll see now, in addition to the USB drive, uh, I mean, in addition to the Bluetooth, there's now a USB drive connected. And if I touch the USB drive, it'll let me see my songs that are on there. And this is the menu you would get on a USB um, flash drive as well. You can search by song, by genre, by artist, by album, by folder. In this case, I've got only one song, actually a third of a song on here. And it's identified it and put the, uh, the cover art on it, I guess. So I click on that, and you'll see, sure enough, it's actually going to play that off my floppy drive. And the most beautiful sound of this is the sound of that floppy drive clicking as it plays it. So we're actually listening to an MP3 from a floppy disk through the Tesla, which seems just kind of silly. <laughs> Very old technology connected to some very new technology, and uh, who would have thought that it would actually work? I have no idea why that would ever be useful to anybody, I, but I thought it was kind of funny.